Hello, it's Claire from Angelic Scallywags. Welcome to my short series on planning a homeschool history unit study. Today, I'm going to talk to you about adventure boxes and how we curate them in our homeschool. An adventure box is an effective tool for increasing excitement in your children for the unit study to come. It is a box filled with all sorts of resources which are linked to the unit study. It can be a box, it can be a suitcase, it can be a basket, it can even be a bag. Really any container which is large enough to contain many of the resources you want to use in the unit study coming up. An old suitcase is perfect because we're travelling through time in a history unit study and we can add stickers and labels and we can make a passport and stamp the countries that we're visiting. Best of all, we can reuse it for the next unit study. We give our adventure boxes to the children on the first day of their unit study. This box is full of fun resources and it's a bit like having Christmas every six weeks. In the box we include all sorts of books from non-fiction, fiction, picture books, sticker books, activity books, biographies, paper doll books, recipe books. The rest of the room is taken up by arts and crafts supplies, dressing up, activity kits, DVDs, audio books and games. When choosing what to go into an adventure box, you want to consider the topic that you're covering and the work that you want to cover within that topic, your goals for both the unit and for your children individually, the interest level of your children and your budget. I build each of my adventure boxes over months and even sometimes years rather than just the week before each unit study. This allows me to do it inexpensively and without any kind of panic. It also means that I'm curating more than one adventure box at a time. Often the resources I find to go into the adventure box will dictate the kind of planning that I do for that particular unit study. When I first start curating an adventure box, the first place I look is at home. We have so many books and games and DVDs that can be used for many of the unit studies. For example, we have a blow up globe, which is useful for almost every unit study that we've done. The next place I go is Google to look for any free resources. This might include things like paper dolls with historical dress or cookery books with recipes from the time period or the country that we're studying. Next, I might ask friends or go to the library or look on FreeCycle for some other low cost ideas. This might include things like dressing up or books. Another great place to look is charity shops or car boot sales. If you've been reading my blog at any point in the past, you will know that charity shops are like a second home to me. And in fact, we enjoy them so much that when the children were little, we used to go on a weekly excursion to charity shops. And I used to just collect lots and lots of different things for all of the different boxes I was collecting for at the time. Over the years, I've got things like a pottery wheel, tapestry frames, knitting kits, and of course, dressing up and books. The last place I look is on eBay or Amazon. These are for more specialist items that I don't mind spending money on. I also get all of my arts and crafts supplies from Amazon. They do amazing paper mache kits and clay, just plain old clay, which are fantastic for all the hands-on activities that I do. Once opened and emptied, the adventure boxes can be used to store all of the children's projects that they do over the time of the unit study. This keeps them safe and sound until we use them again on the presentation night at the end of the unit. Over the next few days, I will be sharing the building blocks to our homeschool history unit studies. Please do subscribe so you don't miss any. If you have any questions or any aspects of homeschool that you'd like me to cover in future videos, please do leave a comment below. Thank you. Bye bye.